Chris in Los Angeles writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, how does one utilize subwoofers in recording studio environments? Is the volume set at the same level that you might use in your listening room, where the speaker itself is undetectable? Or is there a dB level standard to adhere to? An SPL room level? Uh, I want to get it right in my studio, so how do you guys do it? Yeah, well, I think you probably guessed the answer to that. You get it the same as you do in the sound room. Okay, so subwoofers are supposed to augment main loudspeakers. They're not supposed to be adding anything and hopefully not subtracting anything. I mean, because sometimes you can get, you know, some weird room modes with subwoofers. But in our mix room upstairs in Octave, for example, we've got a big center subwoofer. It's a big rel sub. And we do sweeps on it and we adjust it so that it is seamless with the ATCs because the ATC monitors don't have great low end, right? And our mission at Octave Records and your mission at your studio should always be to make the finest recordings possible without affectation, if you can. So when we audition an Octave Records mix or a recording, we put it upstairs on the Infinity IRS-5 because that is a very revealing system and it's very neutral and it doesn't exaggerate this and it doesn't under play that. And that's kind of what you want, right? Now a lot of mix rooms will have all, they have NS10s, they'll have, you know, ATCs, they'll have BMWs, they have all kinds of things and they play it on a variety and get the best blend on how it works on all kinds of different speakers from little car speakers to big ones. And that's a way of doing it. And I suppose if you're mixing and recording and mastering for millions, that's probably a good way to go. I have no interest in that whatsoever. I could care less, right? My audience is very specific. For Octave Records, we focus on people who want the finest recordings possible, the most natural, the most dynamic, transparent, holographic, recordings possible, right? Now, the average guy listening on a pair of earbuds, you'll enjoy that recording because the music's great, but you won't hear all that holographic stuff, right? Because you got a pair of earbuds. So, you know, fortunately, our audience is very well known. We are people who have great, highly resolving systems, and so we set subwoofers up and we set speaker systems up so that we can hear every last nuance. And once it sounds great on that system, then we are a go. And I would think everybody would want the same thing, but hey, you know how it is. <laughs> they don't, but that's what we're into. So that's what I would do. I would set it up so that those subwoofers or that subwoofer in your system is merely augmenting the main speakers so it sounds like there's only one speaker or one channel that works down into the low frequencies and that's when you know you have the subwoofer right. Okay? All right. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later. Bye.